these are all, every bit of this is rim finished. Now, I know that word gets thrown out a lot there, and I didn't know what it meant, so I decided to look it up. And RIM actually stands for Research Engineering and Manufacturing. It is the company that designed the process to do um, RIM finishing. That's why it's called RIM finishing. And how that process works is that the item is exposed to a chemical, and this chemical reaction puts a one micron um, film all over the entire item. Then what happens is that piece is put into a, uh, it's, a it's called a vibratory bowl. It vibrates with ceramic. And what happens there is it knocks off the peaks of, you know, because that micron film is in the peaks and it's in the valleys. And so it knocks off the peaks. Then that film reforms, more peaks are knocked off until you have a completely smooth surface. After that, it goes through what's called a burnishing process. And the burnishing process, it's exposed to a mild alkaline um, solution, and that removes that micron uh, film, that chemical film, and it leaves this shiny chrome finish. So besides being shiny, you know, obviously we all, I really love shiny things, but uh, besides being shiny, what are the advantages? Well, first of all, just like we were talking about friction, think about a piece of sand in your shoe. Anytime you've got any extra little bump or anything like that, you're gonna have more friction you're not gonna be able to move, roll as smoothly. And so here, that's, that's what's gonna create a low drag environment. It's also going to reduce heat. And the rim finishing process, it uh, reduces the wear, it increases the durability, and it makes your parts more corrosion resistant.